Uh, isn't this such a nice view of everything? I probably appreciate the view in the last episode, but I want to do it again. Hey everybody, Skyrolink here. Welcome back to another episode of, I almost said Tales of Legendia. No, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we did a lot more side questing around Call of Night, and we pretty much got everything really that I wanted to take care of. And uh, as we made it up here, here in front of Tefra Cave, uh, Fjord uh, gave us some uh, transport cases for the ether cylinders. And she's coming along with us along on our little quest as we spin around in circles. Uh, this time, um, I do want to change my equipment around a little bit just because I want to see if we did get some new stuff that we can't, we couldn't really use. Well, first off, Fiora, you can use the bouncer knives. You get less physical defense, but you get a lot more attacks. So I'd say that's pretty good. But um, oh my god, she can wear glasses. Oh my gosh. Uh. Fiora actually is able to wear the dyed top, which is something I don't... That I don't remember if it was in the original or not. Uh, but this stuff is actually kind of, uh... Kind of interesting, because, uh... Uh, what was the What am I trying to say? Uh, I believe this elf is actually based on her beta design for, uh... When this game was just called Minato Beginning of the World. So, yeah, pretty cool. And it also helps her stats out a little bit better, so, you know... It helps out everything. And also, I honestly think Fiora looks really cute in this design. I think she looks nice. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to get started with. Let's head into Tefra Cave and get things done. What do you say about that? There are many types of monster. The type of monster is shown in the target window. You can toggle enemy icons on or off in display settings from the options menu. And ordinary monsters won't attack you unless you attack them. And visual types will attack when you see you, or visual types will attack when you see your character. So I kind of already went over that. A uh, corner of the world. Nice. Uh, I kind of already went over that a little bit. Uh, whenever we were doing some side questy stuff. Uh, but yeah. Um. Uh, we got Little Butt up here, which we need to kill for a quest. So yeah, it's nice that we have Fiora on our side now. So if you want to kill any like unique monsters with a with a whole lot of that was it, just just, just one. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, let's go for Shadow Eye. Uh, and where where's the guy? There we go. I'm just gonna go for a backslash and kill. I got something. I don't know what I got, but it was it was pretty cool. Wait, actually, Fiora. I just realized Fiora can wear is the only one who can wear glasses. Interesting. I don't think I'll put those on her, but yeah. Uh, what did I get? Uh, I think it was like uh, shoes. I think. Oh, was there a pair of light shoes? Okay. Okay, I get ya. I get ya. Got Prom Skeeter right over here that we can kill. Uh, I did not mean to cast Shadow Eye there. Uh, right, let's do this. I think that is... An achievement for using 100 arts as Shulk. I believe. Uh, let's see, we got Eater Caterpillar here. We got a unique monster. The Cellular Bugworm. Or a cellar bugworm, not the cellular bugworm. Um, do I want to tackle this right now? Ah, what the hell? Let's have some fun. Can't live life without a little bit of risks. It is level ten, but we are a party of three, so maybe we might stand a chance here. Uh, already off with the topple. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna save that shadow eye until, um, until I need it. Alright, I'm hoping, uh, actually, I also did want to fight this enemy, uh, uh, mainly for the case of, I want to, we gotta display stuff. Uh, I'm gonna use a light heal on Ryan. Hopefully it can last just a little bit longer so we can get the, the party gauge going, because I really want to show that off. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, dang it, why'd you turn around? 
Uh, let's break you. Uh, okay. Uh, using a chain attack. When you carry out a chain attack, you can select arts for three members of the party to perform. They're gonna chain attack. Any arts that were still in the cooldown phase will be available regardless. Uh, deal substantial, da submit, uh, deal substantial damage with the chain attack. Uh, using arts of the same color con consecutively during a chain attack raises the level of damage or recovery. The sign what type of chain attack to perform based on the circumstances. Talent arts will chain with any color, so try out different combinations. Uh, after the third party member uses their art, chain link may be activated. When this occurs, press B at the right moment and one party member will be able to use an additional art. The deeper the infinity between the party members, the easier it is to activate a chain link. If you're lucky, you can activate a chain link up to 15 times in a row. Every time another art is used in the chain attack, there will be a chance of the chain link to be activated again. Quite a lot to... Uh, well, I was hoping to demonstrate a chain attack. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, because, uh, well, Fiora's dead. Uh, let's revive Fiora. Courage. I don't think, I think this is a, this is a fail. Unless Fiora. Nah, yeah, I think this, this battle ain't worth it. Uh, so I, I mainly engaged just to try to see if I could show a chain attack. Uh, that didn't happen. It's quite a shame. Uh, keep an eye on the party gauge. If the leader becomes incapacitated in a battle, but there is at least one blocker left in the party gauge, the battle will continue and let you not be returned to the... And you will not be returned to the last landmark you visited. If you aren't able to win a battle, check the level difference between your party and the enemy. Also remember to equip your party with strong weapons and armor too. Yeah, thanks game. Kind of, uh... I've already explained that a little bit. A little bit late to the party on that front. Uh, it's okay. I will not complain. About not being able to duh. Fine, I guess you guys want to die then. Fine, I wasn't going to fight you. But you guys just really, you guys just really want to die. So, you know what? I will, I will oblige. Y'all will die. A uh, very horrific death. It will be lots of bad stuff. Uh, oh, we got to fight the prom skeeter. Uh, shoot, we might actually get what we need. Metal Lancer. Okay, uh, there's that Black Nectar that we needed. At least one of... One of the Black Nectar that we needed. Uh, let's see. Got a... Weapon for Rhine. A Metal Lancer. This time it's, uh... This time it's blue. Which means that it has a gem slot on it. Which is pretty nice. Uh... Don't really want to use those. Defense knives are not as good as the bounce the bouncer knives that we have. So that ain't gonna work out. They ain't gonna fly. Now if you wanna avoid the wacky little silly enemies, uh you just walk uh you just walk over here. Oh, we didn't even have to fight these guys. Well, you guys are gonna die. Hey, we're level eleven now, I just realized that. Uh uh, that means, uh, we could probably take on the unique monster now. Guys, I'm just kidding. Uh, light gloves. I won't be checking my equipment all the time. Uh, yeah, sure, Shulk, you can... You can have those, and... Sure, you'll get some poison defense on yourself, how about that? Uh, let's go around the safer way. The safer but lamer way. Uh, there's an iron bun of right there that we don't really need to worry about. Uh, another unique monster, which I think we might have a better chance of taking care of, but I uh, will save him for later. We do got some sinking brogs that we can kill, though. Don't worry, these unique monsters will come back and like give them a real, real piece of our mind. It may not be till like wait a little bit later, but yeah, I trust me, we will come back. Once we have a little bit more, uh... Once we have a little bit, uh... In our arsenal. Jeez, man. Iron Bunnam's, uh... Mean business. Gonna kill you. Now I can go and focus on the singing brog over here. I will say, Tefra Cave is not a... Well, I, well, it's a lie to say, not a big area. I, I know I have a chain attack available, but I don't want to use it yet. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm feeling... You know... Life's all about taking risks, guys. Oh, a gold chest. 
Find out that gold chest. Freaking silver. Block guard, jackknives, croaking frog bag. Hunting for treasure. That's right, give me the goods. Uh, someone did get a new art. Who was it? Uh, Ryan did. Okay, engage. Art that greatly raises aggro and draws the enemy attention. And that's it. Uh, block garter, not as good as what we have here. And the jack dives aren't as good. Man, I really, I really, like, peaked. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, we have the Lyric Command now. Uh, I'm gonna be smart about this, and I will lure the enemies away from that unique monster over there. Even though they really wouldn't have caused too many issues, I still think... Uh, it's probably smarter to wait, you know? Uh, let's okay. Let's go ahead and try to take this one off. I think we'll have a better chance, uh... Uh, than before. I wanna see if we can topple it. Okay, good. Now let's try to chain attack. Got go team. Uh, let's see, he's already toppled. Let's go for a backslash. Uh, Ryan, go for a hammer beat. And Fjord, go for a uh, power smash. Not the best, uh, but that is a, a bit of damage. Better than, uh, than nothing, you know. We at least made a dent into his health. Actually, yeah, look. Now that we got chain attacks, a lot of things are uh, gonna be uh, great. Uh oh, Ryan's days, let me help him. Uh, Fiora has the aggro, that's not really good. Let's heal her. And bam. Uh, okay, Night Goggles, Messenger Boots. Hey, that's cool, we managed to take care of them. Let's see, who wants these night goggles? Uh, not really good for Shulk, but Ryan. Ryan can get some good stuff out of that. Slap those on him. Uh, did I get anything else? Did I? I thought I got something else. Let me look. Uh, let's see. Uh, messenger boots. Or the caravan boots. Uh, good on anybody, Shulk, or anything like that. Oh, well, Shulk's already got a pair. Man, nobody can really, nobody can really benefit from this. There's our, uh, Prom Skeeter. Hopefully we, get, we can get that Black Nectar, uh, for that one quest. Will I do it? Nope. It's alright, we'll get our chance, uh, later. Uh, we got a item orb that we can grab over here, and uh, let's uh, just proceed forward to the Magbell ruins. Are these the Magbell ruins? Haven't you been here before? Nope. The Defense Force often uses it for training, but I come here to do research. It's not really a place that people go. Not surprising. There are monsters around here that use Mechon parts as armor. Was this built by the Mechon? I don't think so. There's a path for people to get in. It might have been a vehicle of some kind. Like the Defense Force hover transports. A vehicle? But it's so big. It's amazing technology. I wonder what kind of people made it. I ain't got a clue. Let's keep moving. The ether cylinders are up ahead. Right. Wow, thanks for telling me about skip travel to return to landmarks you have previously visited. Thank you for telling me this and also telling me where uh, the icons of story destination, story quest destination, or active quest destinations. Thank you so much. You can view the map and select the landmark you wish to travel to. It's probably a good idea to return to the colony when your inventory is full so you can sell some items at the shop for money. Wow, thanks, game. Ooh, I needed that. Yeah, I'm bringing that back. Uh, I don't feel it's necessary for me to kill everything to catch my drift, but we do got some uh, quest-related stuff coming forward. 
Um, if you can't fulfill any of many of the quests that uh, are required of you, when when you come here to uh, the Tefra Cave, um, don't worry, we'll be we'll be uh, having more opportunities in the future. Uh, we have an automatic door right here that can't open, which is a shame. But right here, we got a lot of uh, Mel lizards that we need to kill, so let's go ahead and start killing them. I gotta be careful here because I already see it over there. Uh, yeah, we got a unique monster to kill. So let's kill these lizards before we really deal with the uh, the big beast over here. Well, I guess we're, we'll take care of the big beast right now. The wall side Gainry. Uh, yeah, let's get that uh, let's get that gauge going. Ooh, oh, it's dazed. Okay, that's a good opportunity for a chant attack. Okay, I was a little bit too slow on that end, but uh, what did I kill? Uh, oh, I killed the lizards. There's a there's a lizard right there. Uh, let's see, let's go for, uh, uh lacerate, lacerate. Dang, I really want to get, like, a combo going. I probably could have dazed it, but, eh, it's unnecessary. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. Everyone's getting hyped up, though, which is nice. Let's go for a shadow light. Let's go for a backslash. And we can go for another chain attack. Why the heck not? Let's have some fun. Uh, let's see. Go for a break. Let's go for a daze. Not a lot of damage, but you know, daze is the enemy. You can't complain about that. Uh, let's get Ryan's health up just in case. And hey, we did that for a quest. Oh man, look at all this loot. Look at all these goods. Moving Lizard Tail. Rough skin. I think we actually do need those lizard tails for something in the future. I uh, don't quote me on that. We may not. Uh, uh, let's see. Jackknives, crusher, and graft gauntlets. Pretty freaking good. I got to say, got a couple item orbs over here that I can grab. Uh, let me take a look at the the crusher. Higher auto attack, but dang, dang, I just can't get anything good for Ryan. Uh. But we got the Graph Gauntlets. Who are those good for? Only really Shulk would get any benefit from them. They come with Strength Up 2, which is pretty nice. I, You know what? I'll slap those on Rhine. Strength Up 2, you can't complain about that. He's slower now, but eh. He, he's a tank. I, I'm willing to... I'm willing to let that slide. Got more le Mel Lizards that we just don't need to kill anymore. And that's pretty much it, really. We made good time. Killed a couple unique monsters. And we made our way through and took care of some quests. Guys, it's called multitasking. You see why I say accept every quest that uh, that you get your hands on? Like, cause like even if you don't like plan on doing them in, in the immediate like moment, like just when you're walking by, we got like a couple quests done. We killed a bunch of unique monsters. Just, just good stuff. I'm gonna get to the cylinder hanger. But yeah, look at that. Look, we're up higher now from the col we can see the colony and everything. Ah, it's nice. Lovely views. It's also a heart to heart that we can uh, not view right now. Maybe in the future. But let's get those cylinders. Right here. Thanks for the help, Shulk. I'll start collecting them up. You two hold on a sec. It's full of ether cylinders. Hey, why do we have to come all the way here to get them? Isn't there an ether cylinder fueling station in the colony? Well, refining the ether takes a long time down there. And sometimes cylinderization fails. And there are so many cylinders here for us already. It's more reliable than making them ourselves. Right. And Colony 9's anti-air batteries and mobile artillery are standardized for these cylinders, so they can be used straight away. I see. You know, this place is in good condition considering it's ancient. It might be that there's some form of technology being used to preserve it. It's just a shame we don't understand its secret. 
Shulk? But I'll solve it one day and show you. If it's just technology that someone created in the past, it's not incomprehensible. We'll come to understand it one day. Don't go trying too hard. We can come and get ether cylinders whenever we need them. Besides, it's a good place for Defense Force training. Yeah, so good that you didn't even want to come here without Shulk to back you up. Anyway, did you collect the cylinders? Yep, all done. Thanks. Just come by yourself from now on. Shh, be quiet. <gasps> Are they Mechon? I don't know. But it looks like we'll have to destroy them. In that case, just leave them to me. A target a you can target a, dis <laughs> target a different monster by pressing L or R. This may come in handy when fighting several monsters at once. Jeez, Gabe, thank you for telling me. Uh, ZR and... Uh, you can also uh, issue commands to the party, kind of like tactics. Uh, you can press ZR and up to focus attacks, which uh, will aim for the monster the leader has targeted. Uh, you can press ZR and uh, the right... Uh, right arrow uh, to engage at roll. Or, I can't speak, jeez. Engage at will. Each party member fights independently. And you can press the R and down to have everybody come regroup. Alright, so we got these ancient machines here. These things aren't too much trouble. Just do the same old, same old that you've always done. You should get by without too much trouble. And by that, I mean, ouch. Uh, just make sure Ryan keeps all the aggro and you'll be fine. Go for a turn strike. And this thing, uh, this one should go down soon enough. We've got this one. And we'll go for the backslash and stream edge for the heck of it. Fiora, are you okay? I'm fine. How about you? I'm alright. Thanks to you and Ryan. What on Bionis were those? I've never seen anything like them. Could they have been Mechon? No. I think they were something left by the civilization that built this vehicle. They didn't seem like Mechon to me. But why did they only show up now? I don't know. But they were probably built to protect this place. They might have been activated in response to something. But I don't think that something could have been us. Please, let's go back. I don't want to be here anymore. Me neither. And we've already got the ether cylinders. Huh? What's going on? Listen, what is that? That sound. <sighs> In the sky! Oh! This can't be! No way. Mekon! How? Didn't my brother destroy them all a year ago? Could that defense mechanism have responded to the Mekon? Let's get back to the colony. Come on. <laughs> 